you should consider them if you are undergoing a gut microbial reset, like you're killing candida or SIBO, or you have parasites. Maybe you have mold illness, maybe you have Marcons, uh, especially fatigue and sinus issues, chemical sensitivities. If you know you've been exposed to heavy metals or glyphosate or environmental toxins, you're dealing with a Herx reaction, right? You've got that uh, fatigue and brain fog and body fatigue. Um, you recently had a die-off uh, die symptoms after starting probiotics or antimicrobials, or you've tested positive for mycotoxins or heavy metals with certain labs. But here's the rule of thumb. If you're releasing toxins, you should be binding toxins, and also, most importantly, you should be eliminating them. And that's why I often include binders in my 5R gut repair protocol, especially during the remove and replace phase. The important note to remember when you use binders, all kinds of binders, is to introduce them slowly and space them out two, one to two hours apart from any kind of medication or other supplements that you're taking. You are hydrated and that you support liver and bile flow with things like bitters or phosphatidylcholine or taurine or milk thistle because again, we wanna get these toxins out. We don't want them getting reabsorbed. All right, so when it comes to binders, here's the big takeaway. 